have released the dog. I blow a Rick the camera, do a 100% camera, bro. Yo. No one else will go hard, I will do a fucking damage. Yo. Can't maintain, contain my flow. I need to play a game for sure. Maybe RTS or RPG or maybe even MMM. Howdy, howdy, everybody, and welcome back to another Lucid Adventure Idol RPG video. And I need you to hit that like and subscribe buttons because I post content daily. And we're back again for another top five mistakes beginning players make. Yes, some more mistakes because I know I've made plenty of them and you have too. All right. So, coming in at number five, buying the weapon box, buying the weapon box. Now, this one was actually, somebody left a comment on the last episode saying, saying that they made that mistake of buying the weapon box and if you made any mistakes even if you made this mistake make sure you leave that in the comment section below because i like to know what mistakes you guys have made as well and we'll talk about that in another video if y'all really like these and keep going because i don't think the last videos did as well as the first one so if y'all really like these mistake videos let me know because we can keep it going we can keep it going if not then we do something else but the weapon box Believe that's in this section here. Yeah, so you view the weapon box. Some good things going on in here. You no, know, tell you, little stuff. You get little legendaries and you know, power up stones and your chances, your rates for all the little stuff you can get, your blessings and everything too. Is like all, of, all of that. But I did this one time myself. And it was mostly just to see what it was like. Because, you know, content, content, content. But I can say this was was a big mistake because you get plenty of weapons. Like, you grind, you get weapons. We, th this is the alternate account. And, I mean, like, this account, what, four days maybe is almost going on to its fifth day? Look at this. Look at this inventory. Look at this inventory. You get plenty of weapons, like, and I just cleared some stuff out of the inventory to make it so bad. But you get plenty of them, so buying that weapon box, no, trash. Not even worth. Waste of time. Don't even do it. Like, I can't stress that enough. That's how bad that is. Alright, so, let's move on. Coming in at Number four. Getting close to 6K. This, this, this account is getting close. We just broke 5K on this account. Getting close to 6K. Because I know it's a lot of thoughts. It's a lot of words. Should I pass? Should I Should I stay behind? And then like this, this, uh, this glitch that people have been talking about that's going on with it. I don't know if I can make it before it gets, before it gets patched. I don't know because they're about to... They're about to do a uh, do a patch, so maybe that gets patched in, in at that time. But I'm gonna try it out once I get there. But beyond but beyond that, the big thing when we started the game was, do I pass 6K? And the reason is is like, all right, if you do, you lose your daily ticket. Let's let's go check that out. Your daily coupon that you get. That gives you 10 times EXP. You lose that at the 60s. So you say here, you know, watch every 24 hours below level 60 only. But after you get above level 60, it's gone. I think that was like kind of trash. They, they should have let, let us keep that. But what else? So it's like, yeah, you miss out on karma weapons. And the karma weapon grind is a beautiful thing. It's real. But... Me looking at it now, like you don't want to be on. You don't. You, you, it, let, me, let me pull the main account down real quick. You don't want to be on this grind. Trust me. Where you gotta spend nine, ten hours just to get five hundred B, knowing you need about seven C just to see any real good progression. Where I'm making probably one C a day. Like that's really slow. You don't want to be in that. You don't want to be in that predicament in that life, and you still got like a um, nice amount of your 
party under level 30. So getting that, so staying below 60, getting that, getting those levels in and getting everybody leveled up and prepared because after getting getting past 30, it gets rough. And then even, even rough after your 7th and your 14-day login, hopefully you guys re-roll for, you know, the right stuff for that and all. But if not, you... Uh, big yikes. Good luck on that one. But anyway, moving on. Coming in at Number three. All right. So our number three spot, I was kind of like at a toss up because I wrote them down like this was going to be the order for them. But I'm like, uh, not sure. Maybe I should put this at number three. This maybe should be number two. I don't know. This one might be number one. But this and team effects. Now, I think it was in Discord and the voice chat or something, and we was kind of talking about that. And, like, what I mean about, like, missing the, the, the team effects. All right, got the team effects. These little blue things right here that I always talk about in the videos and stuff. Um, generally, I mean, yeah, this, we can go clump in the stuff for Ho-Ho as well because it, it benefits your team. But the team effects, it's your blue skills that you have that allow your whole team because it says team on each of the ones that says team effect and within everything that's evolving um ho ho we're gonna clump that in too because that is that too and then experience all that stuff we're just gonna put in one but all the blue skills have some form of a team effect then you got some of those blue skills that like really expensive that requires other stuff for the team that is like not an early game thing but more of a later game thing that you can invest into some stuff like that but we're not even worried about all that stuff but like really not leveling these up because i mean like yeah you only get so much experience and if you're doing a 10 times coupon you can really just like jar in and just go crazy and everything but like not leveling these up and not really getting that benefit is detri is detrimental. And early on, you know, you just leveling up whatever skills. You leveling up all this stuff and had going willy nilly. Like I'm about to build him, and I'm about to because you know you start off with them on build them or level up. You see, I ain't level up none of that stuff on this account. It's not necessary. It's not necessary for you to progress. And but what is necessary is making sure you get those team effects level up. And not leveling them up is, it sucks. And you don't want to do things that suck because that hurts. And all right, let's move on to the next one. So for our next slot, coming in at number two. Transcending gear. The worst thing you can probably do, or one of the worst things you can probably do, probably do is transcend gear early camera but don't i give my weapons either extra powerful for one and it does and you like you you don't really get that much of a benefit until the weapons are maxed out you see none of this stuff max none of this stuff max i mean you do get the extra little bonus for for especially like the blue ones the blue ones get you the extra exp and i feel like exp is since after as since after the fact of being over level 60 is like so detrimental it's like sometimes that little 250 for the transcendence be kind of worth it even though i this this hurts me to even look at it but, but you, um, you know you got the transcend you we go here you transcend then they tell you the little extra bonus that you get but then your limit stop <laughs> the limit for your level is 15 and once you transcend it you can go to 20 like i got some stuff on my main let's open up the main here I'm sure I got a weapon I could show off. Where is my swordsman? I know he has one for sure, for sure. See, we got this one, which is already transcended and at plus 18. So we only got two more levels in that. And you can transcend multiple times. I think up to three if I'm not mistaken, though. But that stuff get expensive. I think it was the other day we had that weapon. Actually, no, it's two-day. We got that weapon sitting in here ready for us to transcend it again. And if we if we can get us extra bonus policies instead of going to 20 it goes to 25 ain't that something ain't that something but uh 
with transcending transcending gear early on because it's really expensive and like your gems slow down at some point after a point it's like you're still able to accumulate gems but they slow down at some point and it's rough to do those things because it's like you want to have gems to buy to buy uh, various things that you're going to need. You're going to be spending your gems on quite a few things, especially later on down the line when you start working on more of your shop buffs and everything, like like more of your shop buffs and getting some of that stuff leveled up. I still got stuff that isn't leveled up, but I wish I could level it up. But you see, my gems, they hurting real bad. They hurting real bad. Cause there's so many things that I got to put my gems into, and it's really hard getting them now because you got to have tremendous progression just to even make it happen. So that's something to think about. I'm rambling on enough about that transcendence, transcending the gear and everything. But yeah, man, transcending those weapons early on is not good. Later on down the line, it is going to be a little more beneficial for you. But right now, not something you should be worrying about. All right. So for the big one, for the main one, for the one that is the most coming in at Number one. Powering up everything. I swear I made this mistake so bad. So bad I made this mistake early on. Powering up everything. And I know many of you have made this same mistake as I have. And... I'm doing better on the alternate account, not to power up everything, but put my power ups in the things that I'm gonna need the most. All right, for Choco BB here, he does need that focus mana ray, so that's important for him. But you really want your team effects. You really want things that's gonna give you team effects, like the team effects and the stuff for Ho Ho. And it's like you want to look for your acquisition time down mostly for Ho Ho, but get the other stuff too. The character power up cause down Ho Ho, power up cause down the acquisition bonus, all that stuff. Like get that. But these team effects are the ones you're really looking for, especially team attack. Like, early on, you want to get as much team attack for your party as possible because that is going to scale. And then other effects, I'm like, like mostly those. And then if you got stuff that got experience, and we're looking at the collection effects. The collection effects is what we're looking at when it comes to these things. The collection effects. Not the equipped effects because you're not going to have all these stuff equipped on your weapon builds. <clears throat> You know, when you go through your weapon builds, you're not going to have every single weapon equipped. Just for the ones that you do have equipped, you want to make sure. And I believe we're on our speed gear, so team movement speed there. But we also get all this beautiful ho-ho stuff that comes along with it. So, making sure we leveling up those things. And yes, this is the alternate account. We got a few things already maxed here. But, but at the same time, we're not leveling up everything. There's like things that just don't have anything at all this is pretty selfish we're not really using dark some of them i might have made a mistake and put a level or two in because i wasn't paying attention i was just going through level 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 but while making sure that the certain ones that i put most of my efforts into as best as possible see this one gave me some acquisition time let's go ahead and take that real quick mm -hmm. tastes good so we want that we want those effects this ooh experience and acquisition time. Let me get some of that. Let me get ooh delicious. But we want to make sure we only working for those in our team effects and nothing else. And, no, and, and nothing else for the most part. Like later on down the line, maybe. But you know, once you get them, once you get it maxed out, then you have a little more leeway at just powering up things individually. And if it's somebody that you're using for your main team, like effects that uh, that will be selfish. Let's say, for instance, like my drip, my drip suit. I level up a lot of his selfish. His selfish, even though he does got a lot of team stuff too. But I leveled up some of the stuff that he has. That's more or less selfish like this one. Just so I can make sure he's dishing out more damage. Because I got that drip. And that drip 
is one of our main DPS for this account. So we're making sure he has what he needs. But for other characters like Choco BB, for instance, I'm not leveling up any of this. I'm not leveling up. We don't use Choco BB for nothing but warping for the most part. We, we got barely any investment into anything but the stuff that's going to pretty much make him warp and give him like mana focus, the amount, warp distance, all that good stuff. And that is where that is what you're looking at when it comes to those aspects so if you've made some mistakes that you would like to share put that down in the comment section below because i know i've made plenty of them and if you made any of these let me let me know and as well as like the video if you like it and if you don't, there is a button for that. So smash one of those, and I greatly appreciate that. Join our Discord, where we have a good time. People like to DM me about things. What is this person DMing me about? Okay, um, talking about joining the guild because we got stuff like that as well. Because we getting everything together. Even though people are like sleeping and taking too long and wasting time. But subscribe if you're new here. Turn those post notifications on so you can be the first to see when my content goes live. Tell them again, gamer. Turn those post notifications on. Stop it, gamer. Don't do them like, don't do them like. I won't, I won't, I won't. But this is your host, Gamer Dude 2088. And I'm just fumbling over everything. And I'm out. The deuces.